Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about the existence and nature of God. Now, because God is infinite and we're not, we can't ever come to a full understanding of his nature, but we can at least learn a few things about it. Today, is God part of anything else? On this score, there are a few different views. Some people view God as the spirit of the world, or perhaps of heaven, being connected to the rest of reality in the same sense that the spirit is part of a person, along with the body. There's also the view that God is mainly matter, which we've already disproved for other reasons. Then, of course, there's the view that God is not, in fact, part of anything else. It seems unlikely that God is the spirit of the rest of reality, or any part of that reality, because he's the first cause of the rest of reality. Therefore, God's relationship to the universe is obviously different than the relationship between the spirit and the body, since the spirit doesn't create the body from nothing. Another reason to think that God isn't part of anything else is that God is timeless and therefore can't change or gain any new properties. However, if God were connected to changing reality in the same sense as a spirit to a body, his properties would be changing along with those of the reality that he was connected to, and he would need to be in time in order to be connected in that way in any case. However, I think the biggest reason to think that God isn't part of anything else is that when you add the universe to God, making God part of the universe, what follows is that God gains something by creating the universe, which he wouldn't have had otherwise. In other words, God is not perfect unless he creates the universe, because if he were perfect, it would be impossible to add anything good to him which he didn't already possess. If he weren't perfect, he wouldn't be God. Now, if God could have prevented himself from being God just by not creating the universe, that would also make him imperfect, since it would mean that he needed to create the universe in order to be perfect. And remember, perfect means needing nothing further. So, based on the perfection of God, we know that he is not part of anything else. However, is God actually perfect? Well, that's for next time, I guess. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.